Hello everyone, welcome back to Interview Buddies. In today's video, we are going to talk about table partitioning in PostgreSQL. Uh, it is a very powerful feature that allows you to divide a large table into smaller, more manageable pieces called partitions. Um, this improves performance and manageability by organizing data into chunks, which can then be queried and managed more efficiently. So, so what actually is a partition table? In table partitioning, you have the main table uh, that acts like a parent and it doesn't have any data. Instead, it routes data into the uh, different partitions uh, based on the partition rule that, that, that you create on, that you create partitions on. Um, what are the partitions? These are the child tables that holds the actual data. Um, this, these can be uh, partitioned by specific criteria like uh, range, date range, it can be a list or hash, etc. Um, and there's a partition key, uh, which is the column that is used to determine how the data is partitioned. So, so it has basically, these are the concepts of partitioning. So what are the types of partitioning in PostgreSQL? So in PostgreSQL, um, we have a range partitioning. Range is like, is based on, it can be a date, it can be numbers, it can be something else that that is uh, that can act like a range. Uh, for example, storing a data by month, such as January, February, or by year. So that is all examples of uh, range partitioning. There is another thing called as list partitioning. Uh, in which data is divided based on a list of values, discrete values. For example, storing data by month, uh, sorry, for example, storing data by regions such as North, South, East and West. Um, the third type of partitioning is called hash partitioning in which data is divided based on the hash value of a partition key. Uh, in this, uh, we can consider an example of distributing rows evenly across partitions uh, to balance load, such as uh, assigning customer to a different partition based on a hashed customer ID. Um, so this is kind of a high level uh, definition of this hash, hash partitioning. Um, what is the benefit of partitioning? Um, so there are like uh, many benefits. The top are performance, uh, queries can be optimized, data management partitions can be independently managed. You know, you can drop a partition separately without dropping the whole table. You can vacuum the specific partition and whatnot. Scalability, it is useful for large data sets. Um, you can add more partitions over time without reorganizing the existing data. So these are kind of the benefits of partitioning. We have talked about a high level, what a partitioning is. Now I will show you how to create a partition. So I'm going to create a table called sales. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing exciting going on here. It has a ID, it has a sale date column, which is of date type, amount is numeric, and it has two primary keys, ID and sale date. Um, we have included sale date in the primary key because that is what we are going to partition our data on. And you can see the uh, partition by range. Um, this clause, it's saying that uh, partition this this table with the sale date, which is of date type. So it, it means if you have years from 2002 to 2003, it will create a partition uh, of that range. So we have created the table. And if we do a slash D plus on this table sales, uh, you can see that uh, it says partition table. Um, and here it, the indexes are created on sales primary key, which is fine. The partition key is defined here as range of sale date. And right now there are no partitions here. It says that none of the partitions are created. So when the partitions will get created, we have to create partitions for each month, right? So what does it mean? We are saying that um, there is another table, partition table. We are saying that um, create a table, sales gen, 
uh, which is a partition of table sales which is our parent table right and we are saying for values from uh, 1 1 2024 to 1 2 2024 so it might it means it contains one month of data um, of Jan so that's what we have created and let's look at the table sales again so now you can see it has updated the partitions it has one partition right similarly I'll create one more partition here for February data and then another partition for month of March and let's do a table definition again so you can see it has three partitions right now um, for Jan, Feb and March right so what will happen when we insert our data into this table and how we insert our data into this table so we will not insert data into the specific partitions we will just insert the data the regular way in our main table which is sales and it will automatically put the data into the partition based on the date value. So for example, um, let me just put some data on the screen. So look at this table insert into sales. Um, the values are 15, 1, 2024, amount is 150. So this date is, is like comes within this range right so it should go in the first table right so we can do select a star from sales you can't differentiate like you can't tell in which partition it went on but you can query the partition separately sorry i highlighted this one previously but it should be in this one so um select a star from sales chain and you can see the data is there in the Jan partition, but not in the Feb partition or March partition, right? So that's how we created the data or inserted the data. It automatically reroutes in which partition table the data should go. So the next row is, is for Feb. So again, this row will go into the Feb partition and not into Jan or March partition right so slash um, mar all right so there's no other uh, kind of row in the March partition so to query the data we can just query the sales table uh, as we did previously you can do select a star from sales and two rows or you can basically fetch the specific range value oh my bad so you can select the specific range value we are saying that from one from jan to march or whatever is included it says one three yeah so you got three rows because i inserted the third one here so that's how your partitioning works it is very helpful in in large tables where you have a lot of data uh, it's coming in regularly and you have to create reporting or generate reporting for every month so so you can you know keep creating partitions for each month and every month data can be stored in a particular partition and then you can just query that that particular partition and and, and fetch the data so that's just one example um, so that's all for today uh, hope you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe button thank you very much